traveled across the country, spoken to library directors of public libraries, large, small, urban, suburban, rural. The one um, consistent feeling I've had of the libraries that are most resilient during these difficult times are the ones that are optimistic. They see the other side of what we're going through. So I, you know, it's been reinforcing this idea that I have. I am going to talk about Cuyahoga County Public Library. And I think that uh, for us, it's not just about one great idea, although there have been lots of great ideas, or a series of great ideas. It's been about really creating a kind of great culture to work in. And uh, I'll start with knowledge. So we became much more committed to analysis and feedback over the last seven years. And as part of that, we really went to data-driven decision-making. We made a shift from subjective to objective um, decisions so that we really had a numbers foundation for the things we were doing. And we used, uh, we made an investment in data and research, polling, market analysis, we replicated the National Endowment for the Arts survey on reading in America, we did, um, well, I'm going to mention our six priorities, we did demographic analysis to choose those six priorities, and we also have a staffing formula that's about um, the work units, and we were able to understand the staffing in our organization and then rebalance as we needed to. As part of this knowledge, there was also some self-knowledge about us as a library and a, more about our community. And we began to align what are our products and services with our mission, and it was about service to this community, to Cuyahoga County. And we made our priorities reconnect with reading because of the value of literacy for a community like Cuyahoga County. Ensure every child enters school ready to learn, help youth reach their maximum potential, put Cuyahoga County back to work, keep seniors happy, healthy, and at home, and connect with new Americans. And then we turn to the hard work of having outcomes for those priorities, outcomes that were aligned to our mission and the vision of the Cuyahoga County Public Libraries. And one of those areas is to turn occasional customers to frequent visitors. And that is hard work. People walk through our doors every day, but do they come back? What is the experience for people when they enter our buildings? Include our six prior priorities in everything we do. How did we change our collections, our programs, even our environment that people entered to reflect those six priorities? And also evaluating the outcome. Were we making a difference uh, as we measure? Were we making a difference in those areas? And then increasingly to be an advocate for our library, to really understand the value that our library brought to the community, and to be much more proactive with <coughs> our local communities as well as our county-wide. Um, and it's not just uh, working hard, it's also, quite frankly, making very hard decisions. And the decisions that are best for our customers. So um, we really embarked on a change in dialogue and engagement. And one of those big changes is that our union leadership is our library leadership at Cuyahoga County Public Library. And when we needed to make decisions about workforce reductions and reorganization, we worked very closely with SEIU 1199, our Cuyahoga County Public Library chapter. And that work that we do together has really made us a very effective as well as efficient organization and has also had an impact on the service we deliver to our customers. Um, I also want to say that uh, we really started thinking more about our internal customers, taking some of those same values we uh, think are important in serving our communities in service to each other within the library, and that was another culture change for us. My role, really, I always, I say often in the joke, my board members are here, I probably shouldn't say this, <laughs> is that I really don't do anything at Cuyahoga <laughs> County Public Library. 
But, but what I do is I, I try to scan the environment and um, help to bring great ideas forward. And those are ideas inside the organization, ideas that come from outside. I, I mean, obviously, my most important role is to maintain and find and allocate resources to support the Cuyahoga County Public Library and its service to its citizens and to lay a foundation and build on strategic relationships that we have in the community. And also, it's been very important as we make our reductions, as we streamline, as we become more efficient, that we don't lose sight of our customers and we minimize the impact on our customers. Because quite frankly, in Cuyahoga County, even with the reductions in funding, people pay a lot for library service and they actually should get their money's worth when they come to a library. So finally, to optimism. We, we have a message about getting to yes for our customers and our staff, and that's a big theme. Uh, we had a visitor from a library system in Florida, and they said, uh, when I go back to my library, I, I'm just going to hide in a closet. It's so depressing. I've never heard so much yes in one place. But we really try to do that all the time. Um, we have less rules for our customers and for each other and more relationship. And we really are trying to build those relationships in our community with government, with other organizations. Um, I am very, very fortunate to have an amazing executive team that I have a relationship with every day and a great board and I think relationships with staff and among each other. We believe that every experience a person has at a Cuyahoga County Public Library should exceed their expectations. And we're taking, um, we're building energy, we're building, uh, we're bringing energy to build alliances and partnerships and relationships in our, commu in our communities. Uh, we do have a development office, but we're using that very strategically. We're trying not to follow the money, but trying to really think of development as it aligns with our, um, our six priorities and our service to our communities. And finally, we're really taking some carefully planned risks, because if we don't, it will be impossible to meet the needs in a very unpredictable future.